I'm actually a native New Brunswicker. I grew up in Fredericton, uh, so yeah, I, I'm a product of New Brunswick. Uh, my my, you know, formative years were playing at Queen Square Park and you know going to the bridge. I went to FHS '81, uh, and so the the journey from here really started in New Brunswick in Fredericton. A fullerene actually has exactly the same structure as a soccer ball. So if you look at a soccer ball, in fact I have one here, it makes it easier to see the, the parts. Uh, you see these black pentagons that are five-sided. And if I took every little corner of that soccer ball and put a carbon atom, uh, you would have a 60 carbon atom molecule. I was part of that lab that uh, discovered these with Dr. Smalley at Rice University. I did my undergraduate in Montreal had the chance to uh, talk to my advisors there and I really liked what Dr. Smalley was doing and he was really the conduit to bring me down to Houston. He was my PhD advisor and was a, a big part of my training that took me from having the same knowledge as everyone else did to having unique knowledge and I think that that's what helped me set myself apart and build up confidence in what I could do. So I've been in the game so to speak for since 1988 when I joined his group. So, so we know a lot about how these things are made. What's unique about this is I can actually dissolve it. I can put it in a solvent just like sugar and water. I can heat it up just like steam and evaporate it and collect it. We well, just take a, a box and bring in some carbon electrodes coming in here. And so we would have graphite electrodes coming in, touch them together, and you would get this nice horrendous carbon arc sitting inside here and just generate a lot of charge. Then you would get carbon forming. And inside that, that carbon material, as you were uh, operating, you had these nice isolated systems here that had all this soot, which had, would have all the carbon materials. And so we made these materials uh, and then all the other related materials and derivatives. I got involved in startups myself. I started two companies. We started doing work for NASA and uh, Department of Defense and National Science Foundation. And so that kind of progressed for about uh, 15 years or so. And then the opportunity to uh, come back to New Brunswick um, was, a, was a, a unique opportunity. And so it, it, it allowed me to come into the academic world and bring what I had learned on the entrepreneurial world. For example, uh, here's a next generation device. This is a solar cell and this actually has fullerenes all through the, these, these dark layers. And, and as you can see, it's very flexible. This is not silicon and it allows it to be much more uh, mobile. Uh, you can put this into buildings, onto shingles and things like that. We're looking at using carbon to make anything. And again, it's one of the most ubiquitous uh, elements in our, in our system. Carbon is, is getting a bad rap, and it, it's a bad rap because of how we use it, not because of what it is. We spend a lot of money for really good uh, you know, medical applications of carbon. Uh, but at the same time, we're also destroying ourselves by putting the wrong, by choice, the kinds of carbon into the atmosphere. If we can learn to take that carbon that took uh, you know, millions of years to, to produce the oil and, and natural gas and everything that's in the ground and make much more value added product as opposed to just burning it, uh, we would be better off because that, that carbon is much more valuable as a carbon fullerene than it is as being converted to CO2. And there's literally thousands of applications that take advantage of optical properties, strength properties, derivative chemistry, uh, drugs, things like that. So there's a lot of other things that are going to benefit from this uh, project, not just uh, clean energy. Right now you can go online, you can uh, get them in bulk, uh, priced around $15,000 a kilogram, you know, if you're getting kilogram quantities. And we're talking about getting these, uh, the pure form of this, somewhere around $5,000 a kilogram. And theoretically, based on what we've seen and the numbers, there's, this could get down to, as I said, $150 a kilogram. There's a very strong commercialization component to that. So I think it's a, it's a, it is a money maker. And hopefully, uh, as I said, it, it's going to be that seed that grows. MBIF actually has been a, a great supporter of our work. Uh, they provided startup funds uh, to, to get the lab going, and we, we use that. They've been a great contact for uh, other programs. And, and really, this last uh, few years, we've been really interacting with them for this, this large scale up. So um, MBIF is one of the largest contributors to our, our Fullerene Solar Project. So what I like to see happen is that we become a global leader in this space 
but really that's going to motivate and attract more talent, more resources, more innovation in terms of things happening. So I like to see this as a seed being planted and where that takes us, I don't know what that tree looks like, but I imagine it can be a very powerful, you know, uh, very all-encompassing tree that can give us many other fruits of opportunity.